What we are building here is an apocalyptic lithium power module. What does that mean? Well, we are still in lockdown at the moment, probably 300 days right now, and I need to build a lithium battery pack using 32 300 amp hour cells in 16S2P, making it 48 volt 600 amp hour. And because I can't go anywhere to get stuff, I need to use whatever I have here in the workshop. Hence why we have joins in there, we have rusted steel there, and this thing is about twice as heavy as what the batteries are. No, not going to be quite that heavy, but what's it powering? It's going to power all the stuff that's inside of that. So let's go have a look in there. What we have here is a 2002 Iveco Daily. It's a long wheel base, high roof. Sporting a 2.9 litre, who cares, let's go inside. This is a commercial two group Astoria coffee machine. 800 watt coffee grinder. And not only do we have that, we have two of them. We have a three door underbench fridge. In here we have a water heater. Lights. Water pump and filtration system. This is all running on, at the moment, running on a 12 kVA Honda generator, which puts out roughly 10 kilowatts. But I believe we're probably drawing about eight and a half, maybe nine kilowatts in there. So there's still a bit of juice left over. However, we need to replace that with a lithium power pack. So this enclosure, as rough as it is, it is only temporary, but you know what it's like with things like this. Temporary makes the best permanent. So now I'm gonna test fit the cells in there. Test fit's gone okay. Pretty happy with that. They all seem to be lining up well. Plenty of room in there. I'm going to be making making copper bus bars. Got a, got some copper here. I've already started doing that here. We've got enough for the bottom pack. Just got to make some more for the top pack, and I'm gonna run make either some bus bars or cable to go from. This positive to that negative, and this negative to that positive. We shall work it out. We're gonna have to, this is the apocalypse. Cut out some holes in that wood for the bus bars to go through. The, ooh, the BMS, yes. Go check the video out on that thing. The BMS, I have a Dally, Daily, Dali. No, Deli Greens. Deli Green... Deli Greens... Whatever. It is a smart BMS. We'll see about that. Um, don't quite know where that's gonna go. It's probably gonna go on the top somewhere. Up here, maybe. As long as the cable's long enough to reach the main pack negative, which is gonna be right there. because they're in 2P, I'm gonna run a bus bar between those two. And out here for the main negative, and out here for the main positive. And possibly a fuse up in this area. Fuse for half the pack. Yeah, 
Let's get some mic and some bus bars. Bus bars are on. We do get BMS is connected, and at the moment, it sells all pretty good. It's only um, point. 003 millivolt deviation but who knows what's going to happen when we pull or when we charge so I'm going to set the parameters on this and then uh, hopefully I can get my head around that one of the inverters arrived for energy now this was quite cheap because it says 3500 watts but they are assuring me it is a 5000 watt mm. It did come from their website, so we shall soon see. Let's get it open. Well, the negative is hooked up. Need to hook the positive up now, but I need a pre-charge resistor, which I don't have. So I'm stealing one from Toaster. Where is it? Oh, there. Testing went well, took all the cells out of the frame and they are now on parallel charge to top balance them. But the bus bars that came with them only had enough to do this many. I think it's 20. So once that's parallel charged, which isn't long actually, it's gone down from 10 amps to 6.1. Well, this is how she's sitting for now. She's all together, she's turned on. The app says full state of charge, and we've got a difference of 0 0.21 millivolts, which is a bit up there, but it's been sitting here for about a month or so, ready to go in. Uh, next is to try out some uh, inverter charges. Can I have two? Inverter charges, one Renergy and one Growwatt. Same specs, same numbers. We'll see how they go. That'll be in the next video.